Thank you. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Nitzia. I'm Elena. Hi, Elena. <laughs> I'm so grateful to be here with you and loving every minute of the show. Great job. Thank you so and, much. And uh, congratulations on coming back. How, did, how does it feel? Uh, it feels amazing. It feels like coming home. Uh, it was nuts. Uh, you, you would think after 20 years that there would have been some sort of uh, gap between things. But as soon as I saw everybody, I, I saw Carlos the camera plays my dad, Ada Maris plays my mom. I was like, mom, dad, give him a big old hug. And uh, yeah, my, my very first scene back was with Jeffrey Lacan, who plays my brother Carlos. Mm -hmm. And it, it really, we have such amazing chemistry. It just felt like as soon as they started rolling, like we had never taken a break. Like we had just mm -hmm. finished filming one season and we, we just immediately started the next one. We just happened to be in Mexico. And it was really special because I, I, I expected there to be some sort of uh, of catching up, but there really wasn't. And with the new cast coming in, I, I, I thought, you know, I was a little worried because we were such a tight knit group before, but they fit in so well. Everyone was just so committed to the work and so committed to the message and committed to, to the proper representation and, and, and the, the morals and the themes of what we were doing with the show that they're, they're now also just family. They're just family. Oh, I love that. And now you have a family of your own on camera. You're also a camera father. So that's, that's true. how does that work? Do you like it? Oh, it's it's amazing. I get all of the benefits of being a father without any of the actual commitment and work. Uh, I had I had dinner with my daughter and uh, her family yesterday, and and I didn't have to discipline her or anything like that. She did something wrong, and I was like, great, that was that was hilarious, Maeve. And her mom was like mad at her, and I was like, yeah, but it was funny though. And, but so I don't have, it's, it's amazing. And, it's, and with Nizia, I, I couldn't have found somebody that was more easy to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, something that her and I worked on, uh, you know, that we talked about a lot before the show is, is that we really wanted the love between our characters to shine through. Especially because there's a lot of times where, you know, we might be upset with each other or, 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 or fighting as, as couples do. We wanted to make sure that, that the love was always there and always shown through. And I, I, I want to say that we like worked really hard on it as actors, but the truth of the matter is, is we have, have amazing chemistry and it was just, I think because we were so committed to what we were doing, it just came off very easy for both of us. Yeah. I really love the dynamic between George and Anna. And I was going to ask you, Nisia, you know, with uh, George uh, kind of embracing his Mexican identity, how do you feel about that and, and that dynamic? And what do you hope audiences get from that? <clears throat> well, um, it was actually that was my uh, scene for my audition that uh, mm -hmm. episode. Yes. Yeah, so that's very like I remember like that was the scene for the audition. So it's so how how to explain it it was very difficult because i don't want to be the mean girl who is saying like you are not mexican <laughs> you grew up in my country i am from mexico so i get that you know when people say like my parents are from mexico so that's why i'm from mexico so maybe it's it's gonna be uh, we want to uh, to bring like a fun dynamic because this is a very normal conversation right in in the mexican americans families like oh you're saying that you're mexican but you don't even speak spanish or you don't know how to say puedo ir al baño or something like that right so we want to say like it's okay just to be different to sound different to have an accent george uh sometimes he maybe doesn't sound like a mexican and he uh got picked by the neighbors like like, oh, you're not Mexican, you're gringo. And he's super sad about it. And then he comes home and I say like, my love, we have to talk about that because you're not Mexican. So I like being in the other side, it's difficult, you know, because I'm here, I'm still learning English. I'm still like adding words to my vocabulary every single day. And it's not like nobody's saying like, you are not American enough. It's just like, we are human beings and we want to represent the both the, the best of each world. And it's beautiful if we can combine them, respect them and just say, it's okay to sound, to look and to be different. That make us unique and you have to embrace that. If you have an accent, embrace it if you look different embrace it and if we are bringing the right representation it is time to say we are latinos and we are the best part of our families of our uh, culture language and that's what we want to present to our audience to say it's okay to look and be different and to be brown it's okay you know so yeah. that's beautiful 
Oh, thank you so much. And have fun at the premiere tonight. Yes. And I'll be telling my audiences about the show because I really have enjoyed it with my whole family. Oh, thank you so much. That means the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Spread the, spread the word. Woo. <laughs>